Thank you for training with Americans Against Language Barriers to be a professional medical interpreter. We're going to be talking about how to use and navigate Google Classroom. You're going to be using Google Classroom to do your homework and follow along with presentations. So the first step will be to actually join the classroom. And in, in order to do that, you're going to click on a link. You're going to get an email that looks a little something like this, and it's going to have a link to join your specific Google Classroom. When you click on this, it's going to ask you to sign in. It's going to have a button that says join class. You're going to sign into your Google account and you're going to click on join class right here. Now, when you first sign in and you join the classroom, you're going to be bombarded with a stream page, what's called a stream page. Don't worry about this page. You just go to the top and click on classwork. So this is the organized page, really. So this is the page you're going to be focused on. Uh, when you first join Google Classroom, you're going to see the Zoom link to join your class. You, go, you can go ahead and click on that, and you're going to see that when you uh, open this, you're going to see the Zoom link right there with the meeting ID and passcode. If you click this link, the passcode's already embedded in there, so it'll automatically pop up in Zoom and uh, help you join the Zoom session. So this is where you're going to find the Zoom link every time, so you don't have to go into your email. In addition, uh, you're going to go into your homework. You're going to see the due dates on the side over here, and if you click on the first homework assignment, you're going to see that's already been assigned to you. Uh, the due date will be the last day of class, but we do advise you to complete the homework um, as you go along the class incrementally. This due date may be different depending on which class session you're in, so please pay attention to that. Um, so when you click on that assignment, you're going to see the video and you're going to see the learning capsule, the Google Doc. Um, basically what you want to do is click on view assignment right here and you're going to be taken into a little bit more detailed view. Uh, you're going to see on the side right here, you're going to have a Google Doc, and you're going to have the prefix and suffixes etymology. This is your first learning capsule. Each video will be different, so you're going to click on the video and you're going to watch it. You're going to learn. You can take notes if you want, but sit back and learn and really try to understand what's going on in the video. And it's going to be a little bit more in-depth than what we're going to test you on, but this is the kind of stuff you should be exposed to as a medical interpreter. And so we're trying to immerse you in that medical terminology. Don't worry about memorizing things. You don't need to memorize things. Just focus on getting an overarching understanding of what's going on. And so after you watch this video, uh, you can go back and click on the Google Doc on the side over here that says your work. It's been assigned. And you're going to, this is custom to you. So you're going to fill this out and you're going to read the instructions and fill it out, answer all the questions, and then go back and click on turn in right here. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to turn it in? And as long as you're done, you click yes. And you'll see that's been submitted. It says turned in now. And you can unsubmit this if you aren't uh, wanting to go back and make changes. But make sure you have it all submitted by the deadline that's right here. And if you have any questions, you can make a public comment to the entire class. Or you can make a private comment just to the people that are running the Google Classroom, the trainers and the board and the directors and such. Um, so. You can use that to get in touch with us, but the fastest way will be to email us. Um, so please, if you have a question, uh, just try to email us rather than use this function because uh, it's a little bit faster. And so now going back to the main page, you see that uh, there's on the classwork tab, everything's organized on the side over here pretty, pretty well. And each day it will be updated with the topics for the day. So let's go ahead and click on day one right here. Uh, you see day one has all of the uh, materials that we used in day one along with some extra resources that you might want and so the trainers will try to upload these before class starts but certainly afterwards uh, they try to upload this before so you can follow along during the training itself um, so you can always go back and click on the day that you want to review if you wanted to review something and see the presentation along with any handouts we might have used and so if you uh, sorry to go back if you click on these three um, bars right here on the side. If you're in multiple classrooms, you can use that to navigate the multiple classrooms you're in. But if you're just in one classroom, you don't need to worry about that. Now to go back to the main page, we're going to click on classwork again, and we're going to uh, see the main page here. And in order to see all of the work that you have assigned to you, maybe you want to see what's missing, you're going to click on view work over here. And when you click on that, you're going to see all the work that's been assigned to you already. And see, I see here assignment zero is missing. Introduce yourself. So I can go ahead and turn that in late if I want to. Um, so don't worry about turning things in late. Just make sure that they're done. And so that's a basic introduction of how to use Google Classroom. It's relatively simple, relatively intuitive. But if you have any questions or are still struggling, just please don't hesitate to get in touch with us.